Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to kind of um, coincide with one of my previous videos where I call it the Mix Master Challenge. And basically what I did was I went ahead and mixed some of my favorite foundations together that I have in my personal collection. A mixture of drugstore and high end, um, CC creams, full coverage, sheer coverage, glow, matte, everything and just kind of created a look um, and then I mixed primers I mixed concealers so in keeping with that but keeping this solely drugstore I wanted to mix a few products together today just to give you guys you know a fun little challenge that maybe you can try at home or just to see kind of really where it goes um, curious to see how the foundation is gonna look and all of that so we're gonna mix um, a bunch of my favorite drugstore foundations as well as um, two or three concealers because I don't have quite a lot of drugstore ones so today for primer, we're going to start off, I have the L'Oreal Magic Skin BB Cream. This is for anti-redness, and it does finish to kind of a beigey finish. So if you are lighter, I would suggest probably putting a foundation over this. If you're more in the medium skin tone family, you could wear this just by itself. I personally have only used it as a primer, so... I don't really wear it alone by itself, but I'm going to mix it with my NYX Honey Do Me Up because that's one of my favorite drugstore primers right now. And like I said, don't have much on the drugstore primer end, but if they created like a drugstore MAC strobe cream, I would be all about it. So I'm just going to mix the two of these on the back of my hand and the tools I'm going to be working with too are also very affordable. I have L'Oreal sponges, Real Techniques, uh, Morphe, BH Cosmetics. So anything that you see here you should be able to get at a drugstore, Target, Walmart, or even Ulta. And let's get to it. guys so mixing those two together actually felt really soothing on my skin um, looking at it I think the redness definitely toned down a bit and neutralized not completely gone but definitely enough to where I could start building stuff on my skin and not feel like holy crap I am a tomato <laughs> um, so the next thing I want to do is use some color correction products and um, one of my favorites is the master camo palette this is a color correcting kit from Maybelline and I usually just kind of use these light kind of yellow base colors and then the green for redness. So I'm just going to take my finger with this since this is my own personal palette. And in the areas I know I tend to get red, I'm going to just place this, which is usually around my nose and on my cheeks. And all right, I'm just going to blend this down a little bit with my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge and just kind of press this into my skin. And I want to use this now because obviously we want to color correct before we put the foundations on. And I just thought in sticking with the drugstore phase, this would help to give it a really flawless complexion. Another product I really love by Maybelline is the Master Camo um, Face Studio. These are the pens, the color correcting pens. And I like to use yellow to kind of work with any circles that are under my eyes and also any kind of dark spots that are on the skin and orange to them and I think I have the apricot pen here I'm going to add a little bit of that to it as well I'm going to go back in with my L'Oreal sponge and just kind of blend that down so now that my face looks really interesting with all these mixed colors on it, <laughs> now we're going to take it a step further and we're going to go ahead and start mixing some foundations together. So um, I really love the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I love the Pro Matte too, but I happen to be out of it. But I'm going to mix 206 and 205 together along with some Milani Conceal and Perfect Light Beige. And then, of course, my new favorite, the uh, Maybelline Superstay 24-Hour. And then we're also going to mix a little bit of the Maybelline 
um, matte and poreless in there, and then some total cover infallible from L'Oreal, and this is in 303 Nude Beige. So I'm just gonna literally mix them all together on the back of my hand. Last time when I did this with the high end in the drugstore, it came out really cool. So hopefully with using just drugstore foundations, it'll be just as cool, but I do not know, you guys. <laughs> We're going to use a Real Techniques um, sponge for this, and I'm just going to mix these colors together the best I can and emulsify them on the back of my hand. Getting a super chemically smell, <laughs> but hopefully it will set nice on the face, especially with the color correction that we did. So using a Morphe M442, this is um, a duo fiber type stippling brush. I'm just going to stipple some product down onto my neck so that this way it all blends in really nicely since the color is kind of oxidizing and I want to make sure that my face isn't super, super dark next to my neck. Taking a look at the actual coverage, you guys, the coverage is incredible. It's super glowy, super full coverage, glam. Um, blurred out. I'm not seeing like huge, huge pores sitting on my face yet. Obviously things could change once we set this down and we really, you know, let it kind of melt into the skin. But for a first glance, it looks really, really nice actually. It's like a beautiful, beautiful full coverage. All right, so moving on to concealers. Like I said, I don't have much. I had the color correcting pens. Um, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in the color light. So I'm gonna start with this, cause this is like one of my faves. And I think it'll help to kind of brighten a little bit of what we have going on here. Cause I do have quite a bit. And then the LA Girl has more of like a peachy undertone. So I'll just add a little bit of that in there. And using a Real Techniques um, Duo Fiber Stippling, I'm just going to start to buff this and then work it in with my beauty sponge. ahead and set so using um, Maybelline's Fit Me loose powder in the color fair we're gonna set our foundation and our concealer and I'm gonna use this dual sided morphe sponge and I love this because the flat edge there's like a long flat edge on one side and a shorter and I like to use the shorter flat edge just to get in there and set And this is definitely an awesome setting powder for the drugstore. I have yet to find a translucent one that does not have horrible amounts of flashback on me. So the fact that the Fit Me powder works really well for this, I am loving it. <laughs> So for eyeshadows today, I have two different palettes. Um, one I picked up that I've never used before is the Blush Nudes from Maybelline. And it looks like this. And I wanted to kind of stick with like a more mauve tone. Um, and then I've already used this before previously, but this is my City Mini Palette in Chill Brunch Neutrals. And again, it's in that mauve kind of plum family. So I thought the mixture of both of these palettes would look really pretty together. I'm going to start off using just this basic um, blank white ivory shade here and just put that on a BH Cosmetics um, shadow brush, like an all over brush, and just spread this all over my lid and my brow bone to highlight and prime my eye. Now going in with my fluffy BH blending brush, I'm going to take a mixture of these lighter pink and mauve tones here and work all three of them together on this fluffy brush and work them right into my crease. 
Alright, so there's not a whole lot of color and pigment that's coming up here, but I still want to continue this because I'm determined to get some pigment on these lids. I'm going to use a more tapered brush, the 441 from Morphe, and now I'm going to go into that City Brunch Neutrals and take this kind of deeper plum mauve shade and use a little bit of that and see if we can start building that into the crease to get some more color payoff. Yeah, that's working already. <laughs> I'm just tilting my head so that this way I can really angle this into that crease. Going back in with my BH brush with nothing on it, I'm just going to go in and smooth this out a little bit. Now going back into that neutrals palette, the um, blush nudes I should say, I want to take a mixture of these gray tones here and just kind of mix all three. I'm going to mix them on a tapered um, Morphe B23 brush and just take a little bit of each and tap it out and try to work that into the crease now on top of that mauve tone. I'm trying to get a lot more color payoff, which I like. I'm going to go back in with my BH Fluffy Brush again and just kind of smooth it down. But yeah, it's not horrible. The colors are really pretty. They're just super sheer and soft. So now I'm going to go back in with that tapered Morphe brush, the 441, and um, go ahead and go back into the City Neutrals palette and use this really deep plum shade. And we're going to apply that mostly on the outside V right in here, but work it into my crease as well, just to give it a little more depth. Um, for the lid space today, I actually want to carve out the lid a little bit. And with that, we're gonna just take any concealer that you have. I'm gonna use my ColourPop concealer. You can use your Maybelline, um, any kind of concealer that you have. This is obviously drugstore based. And I'm gonna just use this Marble 9 brush from the BH collection and just start to kind of trace out the front portion of my lid um, so that this way we can add a really pretty matte tone onto the lid. And you just want to take this really slow and you want to kind of leave the outside portion of the lid bare like you want to leave whatever shadows you have there that smoky shadow but just kind of really go in and detail and trace out the lid all right, so once you have your lid space carved out with your concealer, you just wanna go back in with a matte tone. So I'm gonna take this white matte that we started with here on just a flat um, shadow brush. This is from Morphe. And we're just gonna now set this concealer now that it's kind of dried down a bit. You wanna make sure it really dries down a little bit and you wanna pack this white color now on top of wherever you placed your concealer. And Another thing I want to do is go in with a BH marble brush in the um, number six. And I want to go back into some of these um, grayish mauvey tones here and just take them on this brush. And this is a smaller crease brush. And you're just going to kind of tilt your head back and go right above where you placed the cut crease and just kind of blend this in a little bit to give it a little bit more definition. Now going back into those gray tones and then pulling up a little bit more of that plum shade, we're just going to kind of circle this brush right on the outside corner where we didn't put the concealer and just kind of blend it so that it blends into the white shadow and the concealer. And then last but not least, just go back into your fluffiest brush and you want to just graze this with no product on it back and forth in your crease just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and you have no harsh lines. Looking good. All right, so now we're gonna go into our eyeliner and you know that one of my favorite liners is the Maybelline Curvitude Liquid Liner. And we are gonna place that all along our top of our lash line. So 
now that we have our eyeliner all done and set, one thing I picked up that I really liked, actually two, um, I picked up the Total Temptation um, Mascara, and this is from Maybelline. I've read some really good things about it. And also the Total Temptation Brow Definer. This is in the color Deep Brown, and it's um, a very interesting kind of top here. It's like a diamond-shaped point here. But we're going to try it. It has a very tiny spoolie on the end, which I don't know that I'm necessarily a fan of. But I guess it's supposed to give you a more natural kind of feathered brow. So let's just go in and hope for the best, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to kind of map out my brows here. guys so as far as the brow pencil goes I think it glides on actually really awesome and I get the concept of it but I think if you're somebody like myself and you do have um, kind of like barely there brows and you need to build a lot it is hard to go light-handed with this because the tiniest like swipe of this product is so strong um, and I've I felt like it kind of went a little bit too strong. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to clean it up with a little concealer. So I'm going to take my Color Pop right now and a flat um, BH concealer brush and just kind of work that into the arch underneath my brow to try to carve it out. But um, I don't hate this brow pencil. Like it feathers really nicely. So I think in conjunction with a fine point pencil, it's going to be really nice. Okay, moving onward, we're going to take our NYX No Filter Powder. And this is in the color Porcelain. I'm going to use my Morphe sponge again and just kind of work this underneath the eyes on top of where we bake them. Just to really brighten some more and sharpen any kind of shadows that we've placed under here. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in just the brightness that it adds. And right into my forehead just to kind of blend out any powders. And brighten a little further. Okay, now we're going to move on to our contour. And for contour today, I wanted to keep it a little bit softer than usual. So I'm going to use my um, Morphe B74. Instead of using a super tapered brush, I'm going to use a fluffy brush. And we're going to use the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Contour Palette, which is really awesome. I found this at Ulta. And um, I think it might be a London-based drugstore company, but it is super, super affordable. And I really love the pigmentation and I just take a mixture of the darker tones and I'm going to place it right into my crease here. And I'm using a fluffy brush because it's really light handed and it's just going to give it a nice natural kind of glow. NYX Duo Chromatic in Lavender Steel in the um, Maybelline Master Chrome and this is Molten Rose Gold, the newer of the two highlights. And in sticking with like a more mauve tone, I want to take a mixture of both of these on my sponge. And we're just going to pick it up here on the sponge, tilt your face to where the light would naturally hit and you're going to start pressing the highlight in using a sponge. Now using the pointy side, I'm going to go ahead into those highlighters and get that right on the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow. Now to further warm up our cheeks, we're going to take our um, butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and using that same contour brush, we're just going to work this kind of high up into the cheekbones and kind of merge our highlight and our contour together and just warm up the entire perimeter of the face. Now you guys can skip the blush step, but I personally love blush. I don't know if it's my generation or what, but um, I'm seeing more and more people kind of skip out. I love it. I'm gonna mix Nude and Peach from the Maybelline Fit Me Collection on a BH brush. 
Look is really coming together. All right, so now I want to set my face and I'm going to use my Scandinavia setting spray. Oh my God, you guys, I just like spent an hour trying to get the plastic wrap off of this NYX um, suede lip liner. This is in the color Soft Spoken and it's a beautiful kind of mauve nude tone done complaining. Um, I curled my lashes using my Tweezerman Rose Gold Eyelash Curler because I love to curl. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara today. This is my first time ever trying this. You guys know I love my lash sensational, but I'm curious to see. I've heard good things, all good things. Smells awesome. The brush Reminds me a lot of the um, L'Oreal Voluminous. Ooh, oh, okay, girl. I see you, honey. So right off the bat, you guys, it's really nice, this mascara. The tube is a little like oversized in my opinion um it just feels like i don't know like fake cardboardy we the only thing i miss is i miss my little curve but in knowing maybelline somehow they're gonna do like a lash temptation curve you watch if they did the temptation with a curve brush man i'd be sold be sold so the last step i'm gonna take a little age rewind and just give me a blank canvas here on my lips gonna try this lip suede from um, NYX and then I picked up this really pretty color from the Maybelline Superstay Matte in Collection. This is Huntress and it's a very gray smoky purple so I don't know. I'm gonna add a little warmth with this pencil so it doesn't wash out my look but I really want to do something different and like vampy. <laughs> So this is the finished look and it is super awesome drugstore chic. So I am really impressed. Um, definitely got a lot more pigmentation out of the shadows. Just kind of had to really work with them. The only downside is, you guys look, I've used this palette like four times and I'm like hit and pan already because there's just so much fallout with them so maybe if the quality of the Maybelline shadows could just bump up a notch it would be great because I really love me some Maybelline products overall though looking at the skin it's blending really nicely it's a little bit deep the foundation however a lot of the drugstore foundations I had were from summer so in that respect I think you know I'm just a little pasty my fault um but I loved this challenge and I want to challenge you guys at home to continue to mix and match and try different things and do a drugstore mix master challenge like I did. Um, whether it's primers, concealers, foundations, highlighters, anything of your choice. I want to see you guys mix it together. Hashtag mix master challenge and tag me at diva doll n i k underscore e. And um, yeah, so I'll link information down below of what I've used today to create this look. My Instagram, my Snapchat, Facebook, everything. Follow me. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you guys again really soon. <music>